My name is Benjamin Weaver, and I went to school in Western Washington University, where I got my undergraduate degree in mathematics and physics. And now I'm pursuing a PhD in physics at the University of Texas. So mathematics is actually just a tool that you apply to almost any field. And that's why a pursuit in, in mathematics is a, is a, a pursuit in a math degree is, is a very versatile pursuit because you can apply it to um, mathematics itself. You can, you can study math for its own sake. Um, or you can apply mathematics as a tool to, um, to, you know, to optimize systems, to, to model uh, economic systems. Um, it's, it's the tool that functions as the basic tool for, for basically all of the sciences, all of the finance and economics careers as well as um, even you know social science scientists, they they have to have a good um, good mathematics fundamentals and in, in probability and statistics. To describe mathematics, the 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 actual application of a ma mathematics, it would be the the underlying tool you use to um, to be quantitative about any field. So the people who end up pursuing math are typically analytic people, people who think analytically. And it's, it's, a, it's a field in which you know, deductive reasoning and logic are, are highly valued uh, characteristics. So um, if you're interested in any type of science in general, um, you can you can get a degree in math, and that's a that's a meaningful uh, degree. Yeah. So in my case, I I got a degree in physics and mathematics, and uh, the mathematics was just as important to what I'm doing right now as the the physics was, because depending on the field of physics, um, it's it can be pure mathematics in, in a lot of cases. Theoretical physics is often just the, the study of mathematics itself um, applied to abstract uh, physics. So uh, a degree in mathematics can, can be very useful uh, whether or not you end up pursuing mathematics itself. Uh, yeah, mathematics is uh, one of the most versatile degrees you can get. You can apply it to all kinds of fields. Um, if you continue studying math for its own sake, that's typically an academic track. And that track looks like uh, after, after a Bachelor of Science, you'd get a, a graduate degree, typically a PhD. And if you want to pursue that all the way, you'd You'd go after a PhD, you'd do a postdoc position or two, and then you'd pursue a tenure track position. Um, anywhere along that track, you can, you can uh, choose a different path, but uh, the, the full academic track would lead to a tenure track position at a university. Uh, so other pursuits other than academic, there are many of them. Uh, you can end up doing science research, and that can look like uh, computational or modeling research, ma mathematical modeling research. For um, y you could be working, you know, in any number of fields such as geology or physics or chemistry or biology. Uh, you can be working for a, a scientific research uh, group. Um, you can also do something like operations research, which a lot of industry firms uh, 
such as, for example, airlines try to model the, the most efficient way to board passengers, something like that. So uh, firms all across the board will hire mathematicians to model their specific, uh, whatever they're trying to optimize and the mathematicians usually with a, a good computational uh, computer science background will be the ones that, that try to optimize whatever system the, the firms are trying to optimize. Um, also computer science itself, there are, um, <clears throat> mathematics is a, is a good uh, degree to have if you go into computer science academically or um, if you want to work for Google or something like that. Um, specifically, a couple of examples are cryptography and uh, network security, two fields in, in CS that are useful, and that uh, mathematics is uh, useful for. Some other fields are, are in finance. So you've got uh, accountants, typically, require a good uh, math background in statistics and probability and, and so on. Um, and then there's uh, a, another field of, um, of statistical mathematics called actuarial sciences, which deals with risk analysis. So a lot of uh, insurance companies uh, employ actuarialists. Um, and that's a relatively lucrative career. So if you're interested in you know, making money, that's a good one to pursue. Um, as well as uh, a, lot of the, um, a lot of Wall Street jobs are given to people who pursue mathematics, usually PhD mathematics. But uh, you can get entry level positions with a BS in mathematics. Of course, you can also teach mathematics. You can teach it at any level from K through 12, um, as well as a community college or even a lecture position at a, at a university uh, without getting a PhD. You can do that with, with a bachelor's or possibly a master's degree. And then some more uh, esoteric fields that mathematicians sometimes end up in are technical writing, such as uh, a journalist, say, working for the New York Times. They need science writers and they need technical writers. And those people are usually, um, usually get a degree in a technical field and then end up writing, end up pursuing a, a journalist career um, because they like writing. Um, but typically you do need some kind of technical degree, like a math degree, for technical writing. Um, and then of course there's something like public policy. Um, you can get an advisory position to, uh, to a politician as a, you know, as a mathematician. So the, my understanding is that the the typical course load in mathematics is, ranges from average to heavy. Um, most universities, the, the mathematics degree is, is pretty heavy. But it also depends on uh, which type of math, math degree you pursue. There's um, their educational math degrees. So that's someone who's specifically going into teaching mathematics. And that's typically a different degree. Uh, than, than a pure mathematics degree, which is someone who is just pursuing general mathematics. Um, and then there's also often uh, an applied mathematics degree, which uh, could, be, um, could be someone who's pursuing statistics and probability. So at at the very least, there's, there's a general math degree, and then sometimes there's also an educational track or a, an applied mathematics track, which would uh, 
uh, emphasize probability and statistics. Yes, since uh, mathematics is typically taught at every American university, um, everybody's had some experience with math. And uh, someone who ended up pursuing mathematics as a career like myself, I found my love for math at, at an early age and in uh, grade school. And in, in high school, I took all the math that was offered and loved it. And uh, you should, too. <laughs> OK, well, this is um, certainly a cliche, but it's, it's a cliche for a good reason. And I would say that whatever you end up doing, it should be something that you love to do. And if, at some point, in your pursuit of a career, you find that you don't like it, you should stop doing it. Because it's, it's very important to do something you like. And oftentimes, you, you find yourself in a, in a track um, pursuing something. And you, you find that it's not what you expected it to be. And it's, I would say, you know, it's not a failure to, to just move on to something else if you really don't like something you're doing. I think it's more important to, you know, to pursue something that you enjoy doing on a daily basis and not with the expectation that after you get this far, then you'll be uh, happy with what you're doing. If you don't like what you're doing leading up to what you think you'll end up being doing, uh, what you think you'll end up doing, then, then you should probably pursue something else.